All right, so the curiosity must be killing you, wondering what's new now. Well, I'm going to tell you what it is and cut straight through the bullshit. It's these 20-inch Model 3 performance rims that I picked up for a killer deal. We're going to hop in the shop, and I'm going to show you how I put these on. Man, I like them a lot. All right, so without wasting any more time, let's get those nice-looking rims onto this car. As much as we like these aero wheels, it's time to go. All right, so before we can get started, we do need a few extra items in order to make this happen. One is these uh, rubberized hockey puck style jack points. They go underneath the car. They allow the jack to push on this as opposed to the metal area underneath that houses sensitive stuff like the battery and battery components. So we'll be using those. We got the 21 millimeter non-marring socket, metal on the inside, kind of a cutting board style material on the outside. Enables us to turn the socket without risking any marring on the edges of the rims. Okay. Half inch socket. I chose a breaker bar just to get a little extra length and torque on it with an extension to keep me off the rim of, you know, five or six inches as I'm doing it. Next, good hydraulic jack. We need to be able to jack the car up safely. What we do not want, guys, is some scissor jack or some shaky looking thing where it's going to come crashing down, possibly injure us or damage the car. So that's a no. Get a proper jack. All right, so if you have the aftermarket uh, setup that I have from the last video, you have a center cap and some lug nut covers that have to come off before we can remove these wheels. So we'll start by pulling the center cap off. I'm using a, a screwdriver and I put some blue masking tape on it again to try to prevent the scratching, all right? So let's go ahead and get this off. Go underneath. Just be real careful when we pop it off. There we go. Nice and easy, that comes off. And then we just pull the lug nut caps off one at a time. All right, now we're ready to start getting uh, busy with the lug nuts here. Okay, so next we're gonna go ahead and use the jack and jack the car up. So we'll start by putting the hockey puck style jack point underneath. Once it's in position, it has a rubber O-ring on there that holds it in position like this, but we don't want to leave it on the car. It will fall off. This is just to hold it in position while we get busy with the jack. Put the jack. Oh, Houston, we have our first problem. The jack is too tall. Man, these things sit so low that the jack literally will not fit underneath of the puck. You know what? We're going to get creative. I normally wouldn't say that this is a great idea, but with this quarantine, we're not going down to Napa and getting any new stuff. We're going to make do with what we got, as long as it's safe. So what we're going to do on this one, all we need is about a half inch. So let's go ahead and just pop the wheels off the front. Now I know what people are going to say, oh, but the jack's not going to slide properly and rah da 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 You know what? I'm going to size all that up as we go. If it seems like it's working out, I'm going to continue. If it doesn't, I'm going to stop. My gut tells me it's going to be just fine. All right, so we slide the jack underneath. Uh, look at that, perfect fit. All right, now we don't want to jack it yet because we want to get these lug nuts loose. All right, here we go. There's one, two. Now Tesla says 129 foot pounds. I'm gonna be honest, that doesn't feel like 129 pounds. That's more like 80 or 90. So we'll figure that out when we get there. All right, we already centered that, so we know that that's good. We got all the lug nuts kind of not loose, but backed off where we're not going to have to crank on them. They look still perfect to me. Everything's go. All right. Let's get this stuff out of the way.
Okay, now that we got it loose, we can take these off and just kind of do it by hand. Just being careful to, to not wiggle it around too much. The tolerances are really small here in terms of scratching the rims all up. And my goal with these rims is to put them up in storage and use them later. I don't know, maybe these are gonna ride rough. I, yeah, I have no idea, so my gut tells me they're gonna be awesome, but I still wanna take good care of these. Worst case scenario, I'll sell them. All right, we'll take care to put our lug nuts off to the side. Now they say that the 20 inch Performance wheels just bolt right up. There's actually a conversion that you can buy. You take it into Tesla and they'll do it all for you. It does add, there, there's something else that goes into the suspension, but I think it's more of a handling thing, not a fit thing. I've done quite a bit of research and supposedly these are just bolt right on and go. That's kind of what we're looking for. Okay, let's pull these guys off. Here we go, finally, finally. Been waiting a long time for these to go on. Well, it feels like a long time. It's actually been a few weeks, but with all this virus stuff, and I don't know if you can notice, but I've been fixing the garage here. I got that thing all tuned up and nice. All right, again, so now with these new rims, we wanna be careful, man. I wanna make sure everything I do is thought through. And there it is. And then just reverse the order, putting everything back together. And be mindful, we don't wanna be under this car. I just, the car sits so low. You know, I have jack stands, but there's no way they're gonna fit under there. I'd have to jack it up like 10 feet to make it happen. So I, I admit there's a little bit of a risk with just using the jack only, but for the minute that I had this up, I think it was worth it rather than jack it way up in the air and taking a risk on that end of things. So you need to size up what you want to do. Now that we're into these rims, I really want to be careful with this. I can already tell that this fit is super, super tight around the lug nuts. So just it barely snug it. and snug it, and then we'll go back and forth to try to get this rim seated. Okay, we got them all kind of hand tight now. Just go around and check them all and make sure they're kind of hand tight. And you know what, just for good measure, let's go a tiny bit beyond hand tight here. Not much though. Again, being careful. We just don't want the weight of the car to come down on the rim and then have it move around on us, and not get seated properly. All right. Now I feel comfortable that we can put the car down. And whenever we're lowering or raising a jack, it's always slow motion. Barely crack it, let it come down easy. Everything's slow motion. Okay, pull the jack out from under the car. Again, the hoggy puck does us no good now. We'll just forget about it. So let's get this off, put it back in its case. Now we're gonna go around and snug these lug nuts up. Okay, we'll do a cross pattern again. Careful with the wrench so we're not tearing up things.
I'm gonna go extra snug on these because 129, man, that's that's pretty tight, you know. All right, so we got all the lug nuts. I'm just gonna go around now and make sure that everyone is kind of nice and tight. I mean, we don't want to do it so tight that the next time we get a pair of tires on, the guy's like, man, who comes out and says, what hawk was tearing this up? He tightened them down so much we couldn't get the rims off. Rah, so there we go. All right. Center caps go back on these guys. There it is. Wow, that's some low-profile stuff there. I can already tell those things are going to bite in on those turns. <laughs> nice. Hey, they bite in good with the old ones. I know it's going to bite in with these. Wow, look at that. What is that? Like, not even, that's an inch. Ah, man. You know what? In Hawaii with these potholes, that might be an issue. So, we'll see. We're going to check in, see how these things handle, man. So, let's go around the rest of the car. We'll do rim by rim the same way. So, if you're enjoying this video, please take a second and subscribe and select the bell to notify you of the next video. And just for good measure, we're going to put a little bead maker on there to give these new rims some good hydrophobic properties and some nice slickness and shine. All right, and here it is, fresh out of the workshop, the brand new 20 inch performance rims on there. They really fill out those wheel wells and look great. This is how it was meant to be. Super happy with it. All right, so let's have a look at all three versions of the Model 3 wheels. Leave a comment below to tell me which one you like the best. We have the aero wheels, aero wheels with the cap kit, and the 20 inch performance rims. Thanks for sticking around and watching the video till the end, and we'll see you on the next one.